a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So, guys, in our previous session, we have covered a Matplotlib. We have covered all the topics related to Matplotlib. In our today's session, we will be starting with a completely new module that is called as Seaborn. So, we will be visualizing data using Seaborn. Let's have a look. First of all, let's understand that how visualization works. What is visualization basically? If I talk about data visualization. Data visualization is a graphical representation. Now, what is graphical representation over here? Let's understand it with the help of an example. Suppose if you have a data, data of a restaurant, that on seven days a number of people are coming to that restaurant. Now, there are males, there are females, there are kids as well that are coming to that restaurant. If you want to view a data, suppose if you want to see how many people are coming on a particular day or on which day the number of people are more according to the gender. In that case, what would help you? The graphical representations will help you because if you will extract data in such a way, suppose if you go to each, you know, each data and check that okay, on Saturday this person is coming, on Saturday this male is coming, or a female is coming, or a child with them is coming. Okay, so that would be a long task. But if, at the same time, if I would be able to display that in the form of a graph, that task would be very easy, and it would be very easy for me to analyze that what uh, on what days. Which number of people are coming more like like which gender is visiting more often? So this is what visualization is. Now let's understand what kind of data can be, what kind of charts can be created using visualization. So these are just some examples. We have a box plot. You might have seen it in Matplotlib. Then we have something like scatter plot. Then we have bar chart, and we also have a line plot over here. So these are some types of types of plots that can be created in our C one. Talking about C one, coming to C one part. Like we have the learn library of Matplotlib, like we have learned Matplotlib, then why do we need Seaborn? Why is Seaborn? Because Seaborn is based on first of all, Seaborn is based on Matplotlib, and it has an almost similar features and even more extensive features than Matplotlib. And in in a very simple steps, you can do it. So not only that, it uh, it offers same choices for plot style, color defaults, and defines simple high level functions for common statical plot types. Also, it provides a high level interface for drawing attractive and also informative statistical. Graph. So I hope that what is Seaborn is clear to you that it is just another library like Matplotlib, but with much more simpler functions. Why I'm saying that it has much more simpler functions because let's have a look on that. So here I have a data frame which has a year, a month, and a passengers that are flying in a flight. Okay, so we have a year 1949 and 1949 in the month of Jan 112 passengers were there. So you can you can see to create a line plot in Matplotlib. We need at least three to four lines where we will be defining the data. Then after that, we need to provide the x label, then the y label, then we have to define the title. Here we don't have to do that. Here the, there is a simple method that if you have a data set, you can write an alias called as S and S that is for C one. Then write line plot. You can define the x axis. You can also define the y axis. The data that from where this data is coming from. So it is coming from a data frame. That's why I have written data is equals to df. And lastly, plt do, dot show to remove the line on the top. And see, it will automatically create a graph where you do not have to mention the month and the passenger. That means you do not have to mention the title in a different different lines. It will automatically come over here. So I hope, guys, that data visualization and what is Seaborn is clear to you. In our next session, we will be starting with the line plot in Seaborn. So stay connected, guys, and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.